Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is another factoring video, and this time we're going to factor polynomials, okay, uh, in the format x squared plus bx plus c, but this time the c value is going to be a negative, so I'm going to put a little negative sign up there, all right? Uh, so the first page we're going to work together and do some problems, and then you're going to have a chance to try some problems on your own, um, and at, at the end you can see how you did, all right? So the first problem we have x minus 5 times x plus 4. So let's just use FOIL to multiply these together. So x times x will be uh, x squared. And I know the last term, negative 5 times 4, is going to be a negative 20. And then to get the inside terms, we have to do the product of the inside plus the product of the outside, right? So negative 5x plus positive 4x will give us a minus a 1x. So x squared minus 1x minus 20 is what we're looking for. Now let's do the one down here also. So x plus 4 times x minus 1. So if we use FOIL, that's going to be x squared. Uh, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. And to get the middle term, we have to do the inside, right? So that would be 4x. And then the outside, which is negative x, add them together, and we'll get a 3x. All right? But what we're going to do, just like the last video, is we want to deconstruct it and work backwards. All right? So we know that the terms are going to start off with an x squared, right? So that means every binomial is going to start off with an x and an x, okay? But these are a little more advanced than the last ones because now we know that to get the negative 20, right, I need to multiply, right, this term times this term. But just like before, it needs to add up to the middle term, which is now a negative, all right? So we have to say what times what gives us negative 20, but adds up to negative 1. So what times what gives us negative 20, but adds up to negative 1? And that would be the negative 5, right? And the positive 4. So minus 5 and positive 4, and there it is, all right? Now this one down here, we have to say, well, actually, let's first draw our little factor parentheses. So it's going to be an x and an x. So now we have to say what times what gives us a negative 4 but adds up to negative 3, right? So what times what gives us a product of negative 4 but a sum of 3? So that would be a plus a 4 and then minus a 1 because 4 times negative 1 gives us the last term but 4 and plus negative 1 gives us the middle term. So let's try these three over here together. So again, they all start off with an x squared, so it's going to be just an x and an x. But let's actually put those x's for all of them. Alright, now to finish this, I need to say what times what gives us a negative 9, but adds up to negative 8. So what times what gives us negative 9, but has a sum of negative 8? And that would be negative 9 and plus 1. Because negative 9 times 1 gives us negative 9, but negative 9 plus 1 um, gives us a sum of negative 8. So down here, uh, negative 48. What times what gives us negative 48, but has a sum of 2? So that would be a negative 8 and then plus a 6. And then finally, we have um, x squared minus 6x minus 27. So what times what gives us negative 27, but adds up to negative 6? And that would be a negative 9, and then a plus a 3. And there it is. All right? So now that you know how to factor these type of polynomials, why don't you uh, hit the pause button and try the your turn problems now. And then when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say do these practice problems, okay? So again, our goal is to factor every one of these trinomials. And remember, factor, we want to know what times what gives us the trinomial. So every one of these problems uh, you had to do started off with an x squared. Okay, so that's where this x squared comes from. So because of that, that's the case, 
you know that each binomial is gonna be an X and an X. So I've already pre-written these in. But now, to get the other terms, I need to say, for this one, what times what gives us negative 15, but then adds up to two. So that would be a plus five, and then a minus three. Here, we need to say what times what gives us a negative eight, but adds up to negative two. So that would be a minus four, plus two. Here for negative 28, um, what times what gives us negative 28 but adds up to, to 3? So that would be plus 7 and then minus 4. Uh, here what times what gives us negative 30 but adds up to 7? Uh, so that would be a plus a 10 and minus a 3. Here what times what gives us negative 2 but adds up to a 1, right? So that would be a plus a 2 and a minus a 1. And finally, uh, for x squared plus 6x take away 40, we have to say what times what gives us negative 40, but adds up to 6, and that would be a plus 10 and a minus 4, and there it is. All right, how'd you do?